Ladies and gents, for the second time, I'm with Aaron McCallum, the Baron from Nottingham. How are you, bud? I'm all right, pal. Tommy, nice to see you. Nice to see you again. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I've just absolutely fluffed my lines. And so this <laughs> is the second attempt at video, but here we are. So as you know, Aaron has had three fights with VKB so far, and they've been an absolute roller coaster, to be fair. We've had the first one with Fish Gold that has a, an interesting story behind it, if you're happy to tell that about the build-up. Then we also had the Johnny Lawson fight, also over and around. And then the third fight with Luke Nevin was an absolute war. So your first three fights have been, compared to most people, really intense. Do you want to tell us a bit about your start to BKB with those three fights? Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll start off with Fish Gold. Um, I, was, I was in a bit of a bad way. Uh, I have been for the past, past bloody hell, I'd say four or five years, really, on and off getting off my twat, um, mixing with the wrong people. I just couldn't find that happy medium with my sense. See, I come from a bodybuilding background. Um, I was, I'd always been into something. I was always dieting, always training. Never really drank when I was into that, apart from days before my show. Um, I, I've won every competition I did bodybuilding. Uh, so I've always, I've always had that mentality to drive and win. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I was at, I was out, my missus was at home, I was out with the lads just up the road, up from us. Same, same shit, different date, basically. And my missus, missus rang me, said there's a fight on um, Facebook. One of, one of my mates, so I can't thank enough, really. I've not seen him since, but Danny Turnbull, bless you, pal, for it. You, you're the one that's making this happen. But yeah, he shared it on Facebook, so I, I says to my missus, I said, yeah, that's the time, then let's take it on. Um, didn't, didn't know nothing about him. Like I say, I was off my twat when I took the fight on. This was on the Thursday. I just didn't give a fuck. I needed something to give give me head a wobble. Um, and you couldn't have put me in a better <laughs> position if I for that. Um, yeah, fish gold, it was it was a worried, worried and off. Yeah. So I took that, that on. That's a big Went debut, down. especially on the was it a few days? You said the Thursday, and then you're fighting the Saturday. On the Thursday, and the fight was on the Saturday. That's yeah, a I did, Big. Yeah, I had a little look at him on the Friday, and I, you know the phone calls I got off family or friends. You know, do you do you realise you're getting in the ring with? So I don't give a shit to be fair. I'm, I'm going there. I, I, it's most probably the first thing I've ever done going without without going for the win. I went to sort me head out. It was as simple as that. Off the off chance, let's say if I got him, if I did get in it, which I'm quite glad I didn't. If I, if I, let's say if I would have won that. Fight. I'd most probably won't, won't, be, won't be where I am today. Right. I'd most probably just come home, yeah, yeah, knocked him out. It's all done, do you know what I mean? And just yeah. went straight back. To that. So that that old fight did did the world world of good for me in every, every aspect. Um, it couldn't have gone any better. So yeah, it was. I got in the ring with him. Like, well, like I say, yeah, I got a load of phone calls off people. Yeah. Is 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 an hard fucking this is um I had a look he is. <laughs> even when I looked him up, I thought, well, he's no he's not that special. Yeah, he's in he's, he's UFC fighter, mixed martial arts, bare knuckles a com completely different thing. It can go both ways. Um and without signing too much of a dickhead, his punches didn't even hurt. I can't even remember his punches. Um it was just when I when I, I was exhausted, I threw a punch, couldn't carry on. So every time mm. I threw a punch, I was better off taking them to last the rounds out, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, so, but, but yeah, when he got me the one in the eye, I felt that just explode straight away. I thought, right, there's my lesson. That'll do me. Stop the fight. I'll come in next time. I'm, I was happy with that. So, yeah. So you uh, needed the fish gold fight? I needed it, yeah. you could If you'd have put me in with someone that's, I don't know, their first fight, and I've gone in and I've just destroyed him, like I say, it'd have gone a di completely different way. I, wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't be here now. Well, I won't be out, won't be on the other fight cards. I don't know if I would just come straight back out, did what I did. Well, <clears throat> but I know if I wouldn't have even took a fight on it as such, you know what I mean? I wouldn't have signed up to it. But yeah, it it, it was a saving grace, if I mate. Definitely. I enjoyed everything. And you bounced back quite strongly with your next fight. I think you've become the first person to stop Johnny Lawson, not via cuts, because Tony had stopped him by cuts, but the first person to stop him, yeah. let's say via punches, via sort of wobbling him and hurting him. That was a, a huge comeback. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I mean, unfortunately for Johnny, no matter who it was, that second fight, I came in, 
I came in to destroy him. Um, obviously, my boxing wasn't up to scratch, but my fitness was better. Um, I trained for it. But, but boxing-wise, I mean, even... I, it's got a lot better now, but even with Nevin fighting, well, my boxing went out the window anyway with that. <laughs> but, yeah, with, with Lawson, it was, I just went in fit. I thought, if I can go in fit, I know I've got that. I know I've got the hits. I've got the power to knock anybody out. I know that. So, yeah, I went in to destroy him. Um, but before I got the Lawson fight, I, uh, before I got the name, when he did give me the name, he was actually one of the early people that I'd actually liked when oh, I'd no. seen stuff like that. So when I seen him, I thought, oh, it would be him, wouldn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, it was It was a bit, it felt a bit harsh. Like when I'd knocked him down, all I kept saying to me saying, just stay down, stay down. Just, do you know what I mean? Because if you get up, I'm, I'm coming for you again. Yeah. Um, and I'd seen his legs wobble when he, when he stood up, lucky enough. So I'd, I'd gone in just to try and put him straight back down. He just, he will not go back down. I mean, the guy's tough as nails. Yeah, is I was just throwing wild ones and lucky enough the referee stopped it like. But yeah, I couldn't thank him enough. It, it was, I, was, I was kissing him and everything, cuddling him. And <laughs> kid, it was dead weird. Yeah. Yeah. Like I say, no matter who it was in that set in that second fight, I was going in to destroy him. Because he came yeah. back and something you touched upon there is that sort of camaraderie. It, it makes a bond that you can't really replicate elsewhere. In that ring, you, you need to take their head off, but out the ring, that level of respect, and that's something we saw with you, with, well, with all your opponents, but especially with Johnny and especially with Luke Nevin. Yeah. Nevin's some guy, mate, honestly, I've, I've yeah. met. I, I've, I can't even take the loss from that fight. I've, I've met someone amazing there. The guys, um, he rings me, texts me mostly every day. He's just, yeah, he's just what a friend he is. And to, to share that third fight with him, yeah, unlucky, unlucky enough, I got the loss. But I just gained a massive friend from it, mate. It, it, it's strange. You don't really see it that much in any sport. The friendship come out of that. I mean, he, he's coming to the fight. And he's told me he's coming down to watch me and all this. Lot. Um, I, wa I was hoping to get up to him, up, up to this fight. He, he'd got a load of sparring for me and everything. But yeah. time, space and stuff like that. And it was just a bit hard. And my hands, they, I was struggling with my hands up until about three weeks ago. <clears throat> so sparring wise was a bit odd. Yeah. If it, I mean, I had a sprain form. My, my knuckles were still a little bit bad. So yeah, it was. I just had to concentrate on fitness, fitness, fitness. But if I get in the ring with sparring with people, I'm only going to damage my hands or such. Yeah. So yeah. But like I say, he's given me loads of advice and stuff like that. It, it's just what a character he is. Yeah, I gained a massive friend from him. That's really good to see, especially because a sport like bare knuckle probably gets a bit of a bad reputation. It's all, you know, hard guys knocking the shit out of each other. But really, there's that sort of gentleman conduct behind it. And what I especially like about you, Aaron, compared to a lot of other fighters, is the two losses. You, you've not really viewed them as a loss because what you've gained from them has been much more than just a number on a number on the record, really. So with Fish Gold, it turned your motivation around and with Nevin, it was an amazing experience and you've gained a very sort of strong friend to support you. So it's good to see that, yeah, that it. level of priority you've got. Yeah, it's like, like I say, I'm coming in off this a loss. I can remember Tom saying, um, how do you feel coming off a loss? If it for me, I've, I, I use that more. Yeah. Like, I, I'm not having another loss. That's how I'm going in for every fight now. No more losses are coming up. Obviously, it all changes. You were getting that ring. You, we're all worries at the end of the day. You, you're yeah. fighting. You're fighting hard, man. Some of the hardest men on the bloody planet getting yeah. in that ring, bare knuckle. Um, but yeah, it, it, my, for myself, I ain't got, I ain't getting another loss. I say the only bad thing I, I can take from losing to Nevin was I, I could have got a chance of getting someone a bit high up the table, say, mm -hmm. who's got a few more wins behind him or whatever. Um, and then proving a bit on that, but, but I'll get that again. It's, it's yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm hand, you've got your next fight with Bo Bestley, and if you yeah. get through him, then of course, naturally, he progresses and progresses. So, how about this this next fight with Bo? Have you got any? Have you done your research? Is this a bit different fight for you with the attitude coming in? Because recently you've been coming in with people you sort of know and respect, with Johnny and Luke. Is this how's this fight compare 
especially the build ups to the previous ones. Which one, mate? Um, and I, without lying, I'm coming in with eight. I don't, I don't want to like him. I don't want to make a friend off this one. That's why I'm going to try and do this fight. Obviously, after the fight, you're going to shake hands and whatnot. But I'm, I'm not thinking about that. All I'm thinking about is coming in. I'm, I'm just, I'm going to destroy him. I've got, I've like every fight is. I've achieved something. So from Nevin, I've achieved that friend. Yeah. I don't need another friend. Yeah, I can say hello to them all and shake all everyone's hands after the fights. But like I say, Nevin, I've got that got that friendship. I don't, don't need another friend in it. I've got everyone out, out of the ring. So yeah, I'm coming in to coming in to destroy him, mate. It's as simple as that. But destroy him in a good way. It's like I don't I don't want to be it all goes out the window as you've seen. On my last fight, I mean, yeah. Nevin beat me in my own game. There was, I didn't expect that one bit. I didn't expect him to come and just charge at me, not with his reach and stuff. So I've also gained that from that fight. Yeah. So I'm, I'm ready for if he's coming at me or anything like that. But I'm coming, I've, I've, I've learned a lot of boxing with me, with my coach Curtis. Um, a lot of movement, a lot of speed. So You'll you'll see something different in this fight as well. Hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> I think we will, and I'm looking forward to it, especially the styles. I think they gel quite nicely because Bo is quite a long, reachy southpaw, likes to sort of negate the action, bit of long arming. Whereas you you often come in from the usually the shorter reach of the two fighters. I've got a much more aggressive come forward style, closing that distance. So I think it'll be a game of can you get inside that distance. And when you land, what damage is it going to do? That's exactly it. That's exactly it as well, mate. It's exactly what we've been going through. It's it's about timing it right, getting in. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Once I'm in, that's it. It's game over. Do you see this going the distance? Have you got a prediction for us on this fight? I I, I don't want to give a prediction as such, but no, it's not going the distance, mate. No. Going for the <laughs> knockout on this one. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. If, if it goes to distance, I'll be shocked. I will be shocked myself, but I can't see it. No, I really can't. Well, I'm excited for this one because with your fights, I've barely had to use the bell. Obviously, I do the timekeeping. There's, there's only yeah. the Nevin fight that I've had to ring the bell much, whereas the other two were over, you know, quick. So this one could be another easy night for me if you stop him in a round again. <laughs> I'll try and make it as easy for you as I can, Paul. <laughs> Appreciate it, thank you. <laughs> I but, think my temperament as well for this. Is perfect. Um, I think I lost that little bit of temperament with Nevin. Um, like I say, we, we was dead friendly before mm. the fight. During the fight, it was it was a strange one. Um, so I've just kept I've kept a lot of anger inside, but I've kept it nicely. Yeah. And I've, you know what? I, I dare say it's most probably the first time in my life I've actually been able to keep control. That's good. Of how I'm how I feel. Like normally, honestly, mate, people that know me that be watching this, they'll be like, they, they all know how much I've changed, but I'm hot headed, mate. It's, it don't take much for me to burst or just say the wrong, you could say the wrong thing to me some, sometimes. And just, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad yeah, we're on, uh, on Zoom and not on person in case I say anything bad. You yeah, gotta drive a couple. <laughs> Got to drive a couple of hours before you do my head in. <laughs> How much is boxing and, and BKB? I suppose BKB particularly because he's had he had a tough time for four or five years, and then it seems like you've sort of come f full circle, really, or turned completely the other way. It's very calm. You just said you, you've got great control over the anger. It's good to have it in the same way. Customato says about fear. If you can control your emotions, they're great. If they get out of control, it's a problem. How has sort of combat sport boxing BKB helped you to to well, get that emotional control? Yeah, boxing and that lot. When I was doing glove boxing, that changed me completely. That turned me even more of an aggressive right. idiot. If I was falling out with a wife all the time. It's like it's like I mean, as much as what I'm putting into this, and she's done the same. Like all my lows, she's been she's been in every single low I've been in, and she's also been in every eye. And this is, we're staying in this eye moment. That's it. We're not, you know what I mean? So I, when I was gloved, I had, there was 25 of us in the same um, boxing ring. It was all fighting on the same cards and everything. But it just gave me a bit of an ego. If I, to, it just turned me completely stupid. I think it was like I was going out and stuff like that. And the bigger you was, I, I wanted it. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's how it, it's weird. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, but glove boxing does change people's lives, so does other combat sports. But for me, it just turned me into an absolute tool if I, right. I just think about nothing. Um, but this, I don't know, mate, it's just made me dead happy. God, BK, I and I, I've, I've got to put it down to Jim and Joe and obviously you guys, it, it's the people around it. Um, people, people seeing us getting in the ring and we're tearing each other's heads off and stuff like that, but they're not seeing the, what we're doing outside of it. No. Like when I'm going to other gyms, I mean, it, I went to Anthony Holmes, um, yeah. Canelli's gym and stuff like that. You go up there and everyone's just nice. It's like you've known each other for years. You know? That's true. Yeah, well, that, like I say to Tommy, it's a massive brotherhood. Yeah, mm. we're putting on a, a good show for people who's watching around the world. But we're, we're still all, we're still all pally at stuff yeah. like that. It, it's strange. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just changed me massively, mate. It, it's, turned me, it's turned me into a man. I'm not going to lie. I've, I've grown mm. up a bit. But say I've been doing BKB. There's still a lot of time left yet. Yeah, I'm not going to. Uh, be too too loud about it just in case I do go off the rails but fingers crossed I stay I stay no, no, we'll keep it on keep it on the straight and narrow and yeah. just before we move on to sorry what was that I do feel on the straight and nav, n- narrow I've yeah. never never felt like this in my life even through all my bodybuilding and stuff like that yeah I was a lonely sport and stuff like that but it kept me occupied but when I look back on it I was I was never happy that's yeah. why I was like I was at the gym all the time. I was eating every two hours. No time for the... That was with my ex-missus. No time for her. No time for the kids. It was just me. But, but dude, I wasn't happy doing that. Not one, mm. one slightest, you know what I mean? Whereas this, my missus comes to the gym with me. My boys That's come it. to the gym with me. I'm seeing the girls a lot more. It's, I'm just, yeah, just in general, I'm just, I'm just a lot happier. And no one bothers me, like... I'd, I don't hate anybody or stuff That's like good. it's strange how it's done it to me mate yeah I feel amazing and I can only thank you guys for it so I'm, we we the fans we the BKB team well we've got to thank the fighters haven't we because if there's no yeah. fighters then it, we're just looking at an empty ring and no one's going to pay to see that so obviously it goes two ways and it's you know, it's humbling when the fighters are so grateful because we're thinking we should be thanking you but the, it gives I suppose everyone watching that sort of comfort that BKB, the sport itself, what it's done for you. So you've put your body on the line, you've put your health on the line for our entertainment. But on the other hand, this is the first time that you've been properly satisfied, properly yeah. happy. So that's, it. that's where the payment I mean, is. That way, I was putting my, my, my health on the line, doing all my other stupid shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm basically, I'm better off doing this. I'm healthier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> punches and stuff like that but that gives me a job that keeps me going so yeah, mad world just, isn't it when uh, yeah. bare knuckle fighting is the healthiest thing you can do <laughs> exactly <yeah. laughs> right, so what, what we'll do is um, before we get on to your sponsors before we get on to any final to thank, have you got a final message potentially for Bo potentially for the fans a- anything ahead of next week well for the fans Expect a screamer. It's getting, it's getting, I'm, I'm coming out to give everything, and just be ready, bro. I know you will be, mate. I've seen some of your videos and you posting at that. Let's get it on and just bring your A game. Simple as that. There we are. It's going to be a screamer for the fans and Bo. Bring your A yeah. game. So, Aaron, who are you, who are your sponsors? Hey, Mr. Mark. Well, we had a massive one. Val- Valentine's boot camp. He's me. He's my main, main trainer, Curtis. The reason I, I can't stress about this guy enough, like it's in Nottingham, Leslie Road. So anybody from Nottingham, like I say, the training will help you itself. Anyone that's in a bit of any feeling down, anything like that, get, get up there. Leslie Road it is yeah, near, near the recreation where Goose Fair is. Yeah. Um, it, it's not expensive or anything like that, but it will literally change your life around, no matter what you want, whether you want fitness, boxing, weights. Diet plans, anything like he's just an he's an amazing guy in, in every aspect. Yeah, he's I can't you I can't stress about him enough. Anyone that's in a bad way or like we've even got celebrities there and stuff like that. Well, not not massive celebrities, but some there who are in a bit of a bad way now, changing their life around again. So yeah, Valentine's boot camp. Um I've got Re- reactor maintenance, they're a uh, worldwide company doing all your oil rigs. Um 
stuff like that, removing catalyst. I actually do a bit of work for him myself sometimes. Um, I've got my, my main sponsor, Udwise Clothing. He does all my, all my clothing and stuff like that. Um, you can look him up, yeah, Udwise. Also for your uh, Vizubo, I've got, that's for all your websites. It, it, there's websites and stuff like that. I've got Knowles Professional Carpet Cleaning. Bang on, lads. Uh, Fluke Electrical, they're a new company, two young lads. They're bang on, bang on as well. Not stupidly priced. All these are not stupidly priced. Yeah. Massive companies. I mean, they're worth a ring, if, especially if you're in the Nottingham area. I don't know how far they expand, expand around places like, but yeah. Um, LPT Security. Um, security business, obviously. And then my final, Cyril's Gym, Nottingham, Nuttal Road, which has been going for years and years. They've they, they produced some right bodybuilders in the past and boxers. Yeah, that's all my sponsors for now. What the hell? You've got quite a few. You must be raking it in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. My God, we've got everything. We had electrics, we had gym, bodybuilding, carpets. We had a lot, didn't we? I've got some good ones, to be fair, mate. Yeah, they're, they're not bad lads as well. All genuine people. And like that's I say, just overly, overly priced, like some stupid companies are. It's... Yeah, yeah. All reasonable price and all definitely worth it. Come recommended. That's it. Happy days. So, Aaron, this has been I really enjoyed this interview because it's a bit of a learn a bit more about you as a person compared to. It's all right doing interviews where, yeah, yeah, I'm going to knock him out. I've been training really hard, but it's always good to see the person behind that. And I think yeah. in this interview, we've we've learned a lot about you, and that's been quite sort of enlightening. A bit more new information about getting to know the fighters personally. So, I, I've really enjoyed that. So, thank you very much for your time, Aaron. That's been great. As well, mate, like I say, just it's a bit off my head as well, getting a bit of stuff out and just letting people know exactly why I started it. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's good. Thank you very much, mate. I've been Paolo Lucci. This has been The Baron, Aaron McCallum. Thanks very much. See you soon. Cheers, buddy. See you, mate.